Nematodes are very important uh, parasites of the plants. Uh, they are generally multicellular, microscopic, uh, worm-like, non-segmented -segment animals that live saprophytically in water or soil as well as parasites of plants and animals. Uh, these are multicellular and uh, transparent in color, uh, belong to kingdom Animalia in the phylum Nematoda. Uh, they possess all the physiolo physiological systems like animals except circulatory and respiratory system. The estimated losses due to nematodes uh, in life sustaining crops are 11%. If we discuss the morphology of the nematodes, uh, these are small sized uh, organisms having diameter of 300 to 1000 micrometer uh, with some up to 4 uh, mm long and 15 to 35 micrometer wide. Uh, these are invisible normally to the naked eye uh, because of their small diameter and they can be on the scene under the microscope. So they are microorganisms. Uh, these are eel shaped and round in cross section. Uh, they have uh, smooth and unsegmented bodies without uh, legs or appendages. The females of, uh, females of some uh, species become swollen at maturity uh, to form a pear shaped uh, body. Uh, for example, uh, they are also known as sedentary nematodes. Uh, the examples of sedentary nematodes are Melidogyne species and Hedera species. Uh, so this is kind of uh, morphology and anatomy of these uh, nematodes. Uh, you can see uh, male and female uh, nematodes, the mouth, uh, stylet, uh, sphagus, cuticle, intestine, anus and uh, tails are, uh, uh, are, are present in both of the males and female nematodes, uh, but the sex organs are different in male uh, nematodes. There are testes and spicules, and uh, in case of uh, female nematode, ovaries and vagina. If we discuss the anatomy in detail, the transparent body covered by a cuticle muscular system helps the nematodes for movement. Uh, the body cavity contains a fluid which is responsible for circulation and respiration. Uh, process of the nematodes. The digestive system is a hollow tube uh, that consists of mouth with six lips, esophagus, intestine, rectum and anus. A well developed reproduction system uh, is present in the nematodes uh, which have one or two ovaries in the female uh, with an oviduct and uterus uh, terminating in, into, a into a vulva. In case of female nematodes and uh, testes and uh, seminal vesicle in case of male nematode. Nutrition, how they get uh, the nutrition, there are uh, mainly two types, uh, saprophytes and parasites. As plant parasites, uh, these are divided into different groups. Ectoparasites, the nematode which do not enter into the fruit tissues but feed externally on the outer surface of the uh, roots. Endoparasites, the nematodes which enter into the root tissues and feed within the cells. semi endoparasites semi endoparasites are the nematodes which enter their, uh, some of their part, uh, front part uh, portion into the body portion into the uh, root tissues and feed uh, outside from the cells. So these are different uh, uh, kinds of uh, uh, nematodes uh, in, the, in one picture. Uh, for example, uh, you can see the migratory ectoparasites uh, which are migrating outside uh, of the plant tissues or root tissues. The second one is the uh, migratory endoparasites which are present inside uh, the root tissues and they are always migrating. For example, Pratilancus is an important example of the migratory endoparasites. The third one and uh, very important uh, category of uh, these nematodes is sedentary and semi endoparasites. Uh, these uh, includes um, Lidogyne 
Globodera and uh, Mlaidogani and Rotlenkus uh, species. Uh, they develop uh, these uh, syncytia and uh, uh, giant cells. The fourth category is the important category that is sedentary endoparasites and they include uh, these Globodera and Heterodera species. And they develop uh, these feeding sites which are called syncytium. The plural is syncytia. The reproduction in nematodes, reproduction is uh, through eggs, uh, that is uh, mainly sexual crossing amphimixes. Uh, amphimixes, amphimixes uh, I will elaborate in the next slide, but it's amphimixes and uh, hermaphrodite and parthenogenetic uh, modes of reproduction. Female have one or two ovaries followed by an oviduct and uterus terminating in a vulva. The male reproductive structure is similar to the uh, female, but uh, there is a test, uh, testes, seminal vesicle, and common opening uh, called intestine. A pair of uh, copulatory specula is also present in males. However, uh, there is no differentiation between the male and female individual during initial juvenile phases and then develop into male and female. Uh, nematodes depending upon the environmental conditions and uh, available nutrition. In hermaphrodites, um, some nematodes have both sexes like male and female uh, sexes in one individual. Uh, for example, Heterodera and Globodera species, uh, they are hermaphrodite in nature. Uh, Parthenogenetic uh, process uh, some females can uh, produce fertile eggs in the absence of males. So in parthenogenic uh, process, uh, there is no need of the contribution of uh, male nematodes for fertilization of eggs. In amphimixes, uh, some species eggs may be produced by mating of uh, male and uh, female nematodes, uh, which is called amphimixes. Juvenile uh, larvae of nematodes, some uh, larval stage, stages of the nematodes are called uh, juvenile stages. All the nematodes have four juvenile stages in the life. Only the second stage juvenile is effective stage in most of the nematode species. After the final stage, the nematode is differentiated into male and female nematodes. The life cycle of a nematode from egg uh, to egg is completed. Uh, within two to three weeks under favorable environments. In this slide, uh, you can have a look on the real-time pictures of uh, these sedentary nematodes. Uh, this is a uh, cyst nematode which belongs to Heterodera or Globodera species. And these two pictures are the real-time pictures of the J4 stages of uh, root node nematodes, the Mlaidogani species. Uh, in this picture, you can have a look on the life cycle of uh, this uh, root node nematode. Uh, the eggs are eggs are present in the form of egg mosses, and uh, these eggs uh, in inside the egg, uh, the juvenile stage stage develops inside the egg. That is called J1 stage, and when that hatches uh, in the form of larvae. Uh, this larval, uh, larval stage is called J2 stage and this is also called second stage of inhale. And uh, this is the infective stage of the nematodes. That is very important uh, from the nematode perspective and also from the uh, farmer perspective. Uh, nematodes, uh, uh, from nematodes perspective, this is important because this is infective stage and from the farmer's perspective, this uh, stage is very important because uh, this is the more more uh, vulnerable stage uh, towards the uh, nematicides and uh, other, uh, in, uh, other interventions used for uh, the control of the nematodes. So J2 uh, stage infects the plant roots and develops into the J3 stage. Uh, this is female nematode in J3 stage and uh, the motile, uh, sometimes motile nematode also develop. Uh, as a J4 uh, uh, motile male uh, nematode and uh, a J4 sedentary female nematode 
which is partly inside of the root tissues and uh, partly outside of the root tissue because this is why uh, these uh, nematodes are called uh, semi endoparasites uh, the melidogyne species and uh, this is uh, adult male that is motile and that uh, fertilizes uh, the eggs uh, being developed in the adult uh, female nematode and uh, these eggs are present uh, as egg masses outside of the body of the uh, female nematode and from here J1 stage develops and that hatches into J2 stage to start the next cycle of the uh, nematode.